<laughs> right next to me. Thank you so much for coming on to Bella. Of course, thank you for having me. How are you doing so far? I mean, give me your latest updates and everything. Well, you're an actress, mm -hmm. you do modeling as well, you do yeah. hosting. Yes. Women with many talents. You studied in Canada. Yes. And you're back and forth. Yes. So, but what are you doing back here in KL? Um, I'm taking a little work holiday, mm -hmm. so to speak, but essentially, you know, I left Malaysia about three years ago mm -hmm. and I was, you know, working as a TV host and then I went over to Canada to try to hope to be, you know, a better actor mm -hmm. and work in film and television and I've done that. And how was it for you? I mean, um, how was the experience? It was great. I mean, it was really daunting mm -hmm. because, you know, you're competing with a lot of, of course. a lot of people, but, um, you know, I managed to do films. Mm -hmm. I've been working as an international artist. Uh, I do films in Hong Kong. I did one in Beijing. Fantastic. Um, and actually, I just shot something with Jehan Miskin, oh, yeah. uh, the What If. I the did What the If, season, yeah, I've heard yeah, of the, the yeah. season uh, finale. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's basically what I've been up to. And how do you maintain yourself looking this, always looking so gorgeous oh all the time? No, seriously, I mean, <gasps> with or without makeup, you always look gorgeous. So, what's your tips to our ladies out there? Well, I think uh, diet, exercise. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, when I'm in KL, I'm like working out body tone. High five, I love exercise. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, body tone's been great, 45 mm -hmm. minutes. You don't mm -hmm. have to worry about like two hours in the gym mm -hmm. so I do that if not you know just trying to eat well and mm -hmm. get enough sleep and you know exercise. which is important but yeah. sometimes sleep is not always easy yes. to get no, so you're here not. on a working holiday which means so you speak. are working <laughs> yeah. not so much of a holiday but yes. do you you come back is it to visit family or um, um yes I do come back to visit mm -hmm. family but I also come back to eat I know I just <laughs> talked about diet but I love Malaysian food and like I can't wait to you know, satisfy my asam laksa craving but or... But you know what, you know. If, you, if you have a balanced lifestyle and you exercise, you can enjoy your food. It's better than doing all those strict, like, yeah. diets that you exactly. makes no. you a yo-yo person. Yes. Well, KL, you're a fashionista yourself. Yeah. You love fashion, obviously, mm -hmm. and you actually did fashion communication yes, in college, correct. right? Yes, Yes. So, tell me a bit about, about Fashion Week. You didn't just attend. I heard you yes. hosted <laughs> yes. a couple as well. Tell me, how was that? Um, it's fantastic. I think KL Fashion Week, the ready-to-wear... Um, this season mm -hmm. has been great. It's an amazing platform for a lot of designers. Mm -hmm. And not just that, I think it's so that people really get to understand mm -hmm. what the uh, strengths of Malaysian designers mm -hmm. have. That's right. So. And for you, if you had to choose between a hosting and acting, what would it be? Would you, would you say either or, or what's your, what would be your main passion? Because it's mm -hmm. both two very different things. They are two yeah. completely different things. And I think, you know, both I, both I love. Mm -hmm. um, but I think ultimately it's about being professional. Mm -hmm. um, everybody plays a role. Mm -hmm. You're not better than the other person. You know, people behind the camera, people doing your makeup. Of course. You know, everybody plays a part. So, um, I think with acting, it's like you mm -hmm. get to really understand more characters yeah. and mm -hmm. you get to really dive into it um, and learn more about yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think when it comes to hosting, you know, you, you've done it before, yeah, yeah. It's your live audience, yeah. <laughs> anything can happen, the pressure mm -hmm. that you feel. Um, but, you know, I can't, I can't seem to decide, but um, I would say, you know, at least be professional. Yeah, at of least course. be on time. Yeah. At least be nice to everyone. Talking about being on time, as you know, Malaysians, that's, we've always got the Malaysian time. Yeah. It's such a bad habit, right? Yeah. Because I'm sure in Canada, people stick to their time. They oh, don't. yeah, you, you can get fired from a job if you're not on time. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you know, production's being held up, but mm -hmm. um, I think it's really about, um, I think it's really about just trying to find a, Find a good balance and an understanding and trying yeah. to be professional. I heard you're about, you got a bit of the Canadian. I do, hair. I do. I have, cool. Yes, I do. I <laughs> do. About the I, it's, a, it's such a cute little um, twang, twang that we have. That you have. No, I know. And, and, and doing, you know, um, what would you say is a typical day for Sarah Leanne, besides doing your, your working holidays and stuff? What would be a typical day? You know, because I work uh, in two different markets mm -hmm. and I have, um, I'm so fortunate to mm -hmm. be able to do that. You know, in the middle of the night, things are happening. So the first thing that I do in the wake in the morning is, you know, check my emails. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's hard to say because sometimes you're shooting, your call time is at five in the morning. Correct. Or sometimes it's like eight p.m. and you don't stop until five in the morning. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's it's quite difficult in that sense um, to really figure it out. But. I just try to take it easy and do what I can and maximize so my So it's where the, where the wind brings where you. Where the wind, wind brings you. Yep. Unfortunately, with the haze, is a bit hard nowadays. Yeah, it's but a little bit tough. And, and I must say this, you were one of uh, Malaysia's hottest women. FHM As were number you. One. Yeah, As I shared, were it, you. I shared <laughs> it with my sister. You were on the cover by yourself. No. But yeah, well, okay, we both shared yes, that little yes. title. How was it? Yes. Did you think that helped uh, in the sense, was it a platform to you? or do you, how, how did you take that title, winning that title? Um, I think it was great. I, it was my first foray mm -hmm. really into the Malaysian industry. Yeah. 
country. Yeah. I had just been in the country for maybe four months. That's right. So Aww. it was it was very daunting. It was mm -hmm. you know quite special. And of course I'm like I'm flattered and I appreciate it. But I think uh, my career has taken me to different directions. Different paths. And yeah. I'm really glad for you because at the end of the day, not just a beauty, she has brains too. Oh, thank you. Day. So last bit words, smart. this is a bit smart. Uh, advice to young ladies out there who want to follow into your footsteps. What um, would you say? I would say try, mm -hmm. go for it, and don't don't let people tell you what you cannot do, mm -hmm. but just really go for it, and then you you'll live with no regrets. Nice one, you dream know? big, yes, and then exactly. you achieve something yes. at the end of the day. Thank you so much, Sarah, for no, coming thank on you for to the show. Me.